Hey everyone, welcome to Living It Country. I'm Holly and welcome to my brand new series, Farmhouse Home Tours, where we are going to get inspired and motivated for the 2020 new year with fresh new decorating ideas. I'm so excited to have this on my channel. If you guys enjoyed my Christmas home tour series, I know you guys are gonna enjoy this too. So if you guys missed last week's episode, we got to visit Tiffany from Faux Farm Fixer. We got to tour her home and it was absolutely stunning. I'll put that down in the links below so you guys can check it out if you haven't already. And then I'm also gonna have a playlist down below so you guys can watch every single one of these episodes if you guys ever miss one. So today we are going to be visiting Amy from My Rustic House. We're gonna be visiting her home. If you guys love rustic decor, chippy decor, and that farmhouse beautiful look. You guys are gonna absolutely love Amy and her taste, so I'm so excited to have her here on the channel today. I'm also going to link down below her link to her Instagram account if you guys wanna go follow her, check her out. She's got so much great inspiration. You guys are just going to adore her. So I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and get cozy and get ready to tour Amy's home. Let's go ahead and roll that film. Hello and welcome to my home tour today. I'm so excited to be sharing with you uh, little bits and pieces of my home and I hope you enjoy. So I'm gonna walk through and kind of describe a little bit about things uh, and the decor in my home. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to message me on Instagram. So when you walk into my home, this is my entry. I love chippy furniture. And this cabinet is probably my favorite. <laughs> I'm gonna squeeze over and give you a better view of it. I just love it. And then I also love stars, which you will see. through. They're scattered throughout my home. That's like an old railroad sign, I believe. I found that a few years ago and I've stacked a couple of old stools. And then if you turn over to this side, I've kind of kept a little bit of a wintry theme since it is January. I kept the skates up and the red lantern and a little bit of greenery in a basket just to keep a little bit of the winter theme going. And then cute little sign up there. Then I have this little bench and an old uh, ticking pillow there. And then a little plant there. And then a thrifted painting and a candle. And it's kind of gloomy today, so you guys are gonna get a lot of candlelight, which I love, it makes it so cozy. And then this is what I like to call the boy room because my boys, I have two boys, and they play video games in here. So um, I refer to it as my boy room. I'm gonna start you off in this corner. This is a chippy cabinet that the minute I saw it, a friend was selling it. And the minute I saw it, I had to have it. It is like one of my other, I say that about all my cabinets. It's one of my favorite pieces, but I think they're all so pretty much my favorite, but um, I like them for different reasons. Like the paint color on this is just gorgeous. And then that is an old um, sign I found while uh, junkin'. And then that is a, an old Birkin. A cute little uh, old jar of vintage mismatched buttons that a friend sent me. And then an old basket. And then over here, another chippy cabinet. Cute little sign, another candle, basket, and crock. I also love Crocs. I have them scattered as well out, all throughout my home. And then on this wall, I just have little chippy frames and then you get to see the monstrosity of the TV. <laughs> and then I'm trying not to go super fast. And then I have a sifter wall over here with a little gather sign. These are just vintage sifters that I've collected over the years and I decided to make a little gallery wall out of them. And then some cute little pillows, handmade pillows from a friend. And then another little candle. This I think was like an old um, cabbage cutter. 
and I just, I think the blade is missing and I uh, put a crock and a plant on it. I thought that would be really cute. And then again, another crock and candle. And then this cabinet is another favorite because of the color. And then I again stuck with um, wintry theme of keeping little snowshoes out. And then y'all, this is Ironstone, which I love and collect. I found that at the Goodwill. I could not believe it. And then another old crock. And then this antique sign is actually an old vintage sign. I think an antique store had it hanging up. See the little hooks up there? It's pretty heavy too. And I just loved the chippy patina of it. And then we're gonna move into my dining room. This is probably one of my favorite rooms. I decided um, when I put my Hoosier cabinet in here that I needed something on the wall on each side and I couldn't figure it out. It was kind of stumping me for a little while. And then I saw these vintage rug beaters and I fell in love and I thought, oh my goodness, that would be perfect. And they turned out really, really cute. And then um, this coal bucket, I um, had different things in it throughout the seasons. Like I put mums in it, a little Christmas tree. And since it's kind of winter right now, it's just got some faux greenery. Um, and then my Hoosier cabinet, which I love. I think this is probably my favorite cabinet to style. And I'll get a little closer for you all. I collect Dundee, vintage uh, Dundee marmalade jars. And I love displaying them on this cabinet. It's probably um, another little favorite collection that I will keep for a long time. <laughs> I am a collector of vintage and I just adore certain pieces and it just sparks a collection and then this yellowware I loved because it had the lid you don't see very many pieces with the lid so I figured um, since it was so special it needed to be displayed and then ironstone and then obviously I have a, a scale collection as well I have several strewn throughout my home they are in my kitchen on my cabinets, which you will see a little bit of. And then an old grate. And then this piece is really cool. It's a uh, ironstone um, syrup jar. And then over here is just an old little cubby cabinet with a twig star I made. going around my table here. And then I have this piece that has a bunch of ironstone, small pitchers, little creamers, and I absolutely love that too. I love the primitive vibe that it gives off. The lighting, I'm sorry again, it's kind of gloomy trying to I get as cozy as possible for you guys. And then I have my centerpiece, which is an old enamelware pitcher, and then another marmalade jar, and then a little piece of ironstone bowl, and this ironstone um, tray, which is absolutely probably my favorite ironstone piece. It is old and amazing. And I just love it. And then I put a grain sack down, A for Amy. <laughs> I thought that was neat. And I love the imperfections of the patches. I love to show those off as well. And then I have this cabinet. This was my uh, first vintage cabinet ever purchased. 
right after I got married and I store um, family china in it. Special family china that rarely gets used. <laughs> I'm probably not alone in that. And then again, I used that star as my tree topper this Christmas and it was absolutely gorgeous on my tree. If you guys would like to take a look, head over to my Instagram and check it out. And then my kitchen, I'll show you little bits of it. I'm cooking, making some bread. See my scales? I loved this piece right here. Uh, that is an old cranberry scooper and I thought it would be super cute to hold vintage rolling pins. And I was right, I love it. And then this is what I have on my island. Nice big scale. A candle out of a tin. And then more Crocs. And then this is my table and what I have there. kids love goldfish <laughs> and then this little vignette and now we're gonna come into my main family room this is where we all tend to hang out and watch TV as a family this is probably I say that every room is my favorite room I do love my dining room but then this room also just feels so cozy especially at night with the candles lit I love it I'm gonna start over here I get lots and lots of comments and questions about my watering cans I leave them out year-round I love it as a statement piece they're just hung on an, a big peg rack and then um, my crop collection down there that's just an old tool, metal toolbox I found at a yard sale and I just filled it with pine cones from my yard. And then this is also like an old gate piece or something. It's still got the hinge on it. And then let's move over here. I love using um, grain sacks on the backs of my couches for extra coziness. So that's what you see on the backs of my furniture in here. Uh, I fell in love with European vintage washboards and I was lucky enough to find three and I thought three makes a collection and it would be cute on a wall. So they ended up here and I'm absolutely in love with it. I just think they add so much to this little area right here. And as you see more chippy furniture. <laughs> I love that cabinet. And then this is like another old gate. See the hardware on it. And then see that's a grain sack with some pillows. And then more pillows. I love cozy, cozy pillows. And then my little tablescape over here. Candles, vintage ironstone, and this cool wood riser. And that is it. That concludes the tour because now I'm back at the beginning where I started. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour of my home and feel free to um, send in any questions you may have. I appreciate it. Hope you have a great day. A big thank you to Amy for sharing her beautiful, beautiful home today. I would love to know in the comments below what your favorite part of Amy's home tour was down right below. Thank you guys so much for watching Living at Country. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And don't forget to check out Amy's Instagram account. I'll see you guys later. Bye.